Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, thank you for joining us today. If you're from my husband's YouTube channel, RX Angler, you've seen him catch this massive redfish on his channel. Um, if you don't know who RX Angler is, please check him out. His information is going to be linked in the description below. This is a catch, clean, and cook video. This fish was so big, we went ahead and cut the head off, gutted it, cleaned it up nicely. Um, it has a lot of meat on it, so I've decided to make a Korean pan fry dish. It's a very easy dish that I like to make when my family gets together or when we go to potlucks. To save time, we went ahead and we filleted the fish. We cut it up into pieces, patted it dry, and this recipe is so easy to make. All you need is oil, flour, and egg for the fish. And then later on, we're gonna make a special dipping sauce for it. I prefer fresh fish because it doesn't have that smell to it and nothing can beat fresh fish. But if you don't have fresh fish, go ahead and buy frozen fish at the grocery store and those fillets that they sell, um, that works perfectly fine too. I have my two eggs. I'm gonna crack it. Lightly beat it. Make sure you have half a cup of oil, quarter cup of flour, and two eggs and we're ready to start frying. You're gonna turn your heat to medium high. I like using a, a pan that's a little bit deeper. You're gonna pour in quarter cup of oil. And while that's getting hot, you're going to get your fish fillets, coat it with the flour, coat it with the egg, you can just keep that in there while you do the rest. Coat it with flour. Coat it with egg. And I didn't put anything in my flour mixture because I'm gonna make a really nice sauce, dipping sauce for it. But if you want, of course, you can always add salt and pepper to your flour. Make it a little spicier too to your flour. I'm still waiting for the oil to get hot, but anytime I like to uh, fry things, I always like to put a little paper towel on my dish so it can soak up the extra oil that we don't need to be eating. Okay, I can tell it's already getting really hot, so I'm gonna start putting my little fish nuggets in. Be very careful. Oh, that smells so good. Fried egg. And you don't get that fishy smell at all because it's so fresh. And you just let that cook for about 30 seconds and then it's gonna be ready to flip. Okay, the fish are a little bit thicker than I'm used to working with. So actually it's gonna need more than 30 seconds on one side. So if they're a little bit thicker, you can turn your heat down to medium high. And I can tell some are already ready to flip because you see the browning on the edges. See, it should look just like that. Wow, it smells so good. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes on the medium. They're ready to go, so I'm gonna turn my heat off. I'm gonna put my fish fillets carefully onto my paper towel, just like that. Wow, the fish is really big and thick. Oh, it smells really good. Wow, look how thick that is. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna put it to the side, let it cool off, and while it's cooling off, I'm gonna go ahead and make the dipping sauce. You're gonna use two tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar. Uh, if you remember in my other video, I said the vinegar and sugar and the soy sauce, if they have a one-to-one -one ratio, the sauce comes out really good. Two tablespoons of Soy sauce, gonna put a little bit of minced garlic in there, just a, table, a teaspoon. Make, give it a good, good mixture. Top it off with some green onions. Give it a good mix so that sugar can dissolve. And that's it, so easy. Sugar, vinegar, and soy sauce, one to one ratio. Now, 
put some sesame seed on. And it's ready to eat. So here's my husband, RX Angler. Yo, what's up guys? Thank you so much for clicking on my wife's video and her channel. This is her first catch and cook. This is an idea that it was pretty much her idea where I catch the fish and we, I bring it home and she does it cook because she has the skills. I've done a, I've done a lot of catch and cook videos on my, on my channel, but you know, they're not that great. She has the best cooking skills, but um, today was a grinder. I'm telling you what, I spent, God, I would say four to five hours out in the marsh. I was very, very blessed to catch this big 24 inch redfish. It pulled my kayak. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out, especially if you're into fishing. But we are going to divulge in our fruits of labor right here. You know, she only made this one time for me and we've been together for almost 20 years. Can you believe that? So I'm actually pretty excited because I love Asian dishes, especially when it's really easy and redfish is, just, it's so plentiful in the Texas coast. It's one of the best tasting fish, but I know I'm digressing, but let's, <laughs> let's go and start eating. Let's, let's try this out honey. I'm super excited. So I know this dish is pretty easy because I've seen you make it. Um, some of these fish, uh, pieces are pretty big, huh? Very big. Uh, check that out, guys. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's go and dip in that sauce. I think what sets it apart is the sauce, right? Mm -hmm. And just one bite. <laughs> mm, very good. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Very good. I mean, this is just a plain Jane fried redfish that you can make with flour and eggs. Obviously, you saw, right? But the secret is the sauce. This is mm -hmm. an Asian sour, salty, I don't know, right? Sauce? Sweet, sour. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. you did put some sugar in here, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a sweet and sour soy sauce type sauce that goes well with meats, especially this redfish here. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know, but this is excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. I like to get a lot of that sauce right here and some of the onion. Mm, so, so good. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to show you a fresh fish recipe. So easy. All you need is egg and flour and oil. Hopefully you will have some of the ingredients to make this sauce. Um, Soy sauce, sugar, and vinegar, that's all you ever need to really, really get that Asian flavor um, in any of your dishes. So I'm glad you were able to see my husband, RX Angler. If you want the recipe, it's in, gonna be in the description below. And I hope to show you more secrets from my kitchen.